Hi, today's video will be about different casting strokes and different body movements in competition distance casting. Um, I'm very interested in competition distance casting, uh, that's why I follow uh, the great casters on the YouTube channel, watch them one by one, watch their body movement, how they hold, um, how they rotate the, the uh, rod on the end of the stroke, what speed do they have do they use you know, to get the great distance in, in the casting. Um, I will present you with five different casting strokes, five different body movements and five different paths of holding hand. Funny thing about it is that all of those strokes and the body movements, each one of them, they had great results in, in competitions. Some of them even won the world championship. So it's tricky part to find for yourself the perfect casting stroke, the perfect thing that fits you in, uh, in order to achieve the um, highest distance. I set up my um, casting field today just with two cones, one on 100, mark feet, uh, 100 feet mark and 120 feet mark. But the main thing will be about the, the holding, the, the movement, the stroke. And each one of presented strokes and the body movement has a name, big name behind it. I don't want to clone anybody or like, you know, try to copy anybody. So maybe after you see this video, maybe you can have a kind of little trivia on board to guess which strokes belongs to who. But again, I'm not cloning anybody and I don't want to copy anybody. I'm just learning from different people trying to put things together. So let's get started and we'll see how we go. Enjoy the video. Setup for this video, it's the Hot Torpedo 10 and a Scientific Angler MED line in a 5 weight. This is what we use in competitions for the trout distance. Let's see. Stroke and body movement number one. Now we go to number two. Now we go to number three. It's a very strong headwind now, so don't bother about the distance. It's all about the strong and the body movement. Now we go to number four. And we go finally to number five, which is very, very interesting but not my favorite. There you go, that's why it's not my favorite.
we'll go through them once again one two three four five with two false cuts only and then we have a little come you know we confirm uh, we compare a little bit and then we might start the discussion on the sexy loops website in a fly casting session where there is a lot of brainiacs and a lot of people who know what to look for in those casting strokes in the body movements who know what can be approved who know what the distance casting is all about give me a second so one two three four five again one And five. Again, it's all about the body movement and the casting stroke and the path of the holding, ho holding hand. Out of those five, I got one favorite. I don't know, I'll let you guess. And, but I get bits and pieces from each one of them to create my own, which I'm very happy with it. And I'm practicing again and again and again. Um, obviously the distance casting, it's all about, you know, perfect tracking, uh, high line speed, late rotation and fast haul. But then you have to put things together, together with your body movement, your hips, your elbow, your shoulder, your wrist to make it work. So you can watch this video, find something for yourself instead of looking at different casters uh, name by name and then difficult to put, uh, combine them together. And once again, I'm looking forward for a lovely discussion on board of the sexy loops. And we'll see if we're gonna learn something from it. Till the next time. Cheers.